In the hip hop industry today, it has become an established fact that rappers should be feared and female rappers are not excluded. I mean, these ladies have shown that they're not one to be messed with and rapper Glorilla is one of them. The Memphis born rapper has in countless instances shown that she is one to be feared and it seems that rappers in the industry have learned the hard way. I bet you're itching to know just what she has done. Keep watching till the end of this video to see why rappers are really scared of Glorilla. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Glorilla's criminal history. One of the major reasons rappers in the industry stay away from any trouble with Glorilla is that many of them believe that she may have been involved with some weird people while she was out, serving her three years sentence in jail. To make matters worse, the reason why the Memphis rapper was in jail was revealed to be one of the pettiest reasons ever and that was because she stole cereal. Wow, no one believed this news until Big Glow confirmed it in an interview with Funny Marco's Cornbread TV. Big Glow had everyone curious, so when she went on the show, the interviewer saw this as an opportunity to clear up rumors about her serving a jail term for stealing cereal boxes from Kmart. Big Glow confirmed this news and told the interviewer that You actually did three years in jail. Wow. Yeah, I did. Although this was said with a smirk on her face. Nobody really paid attention to it as they were invested in her admission of guilt. Glorilla said, so they actually put that on there. Wow, they put my business on there. Yeah, I did. The rapper also added that, I don't like the fact that you dug that up. Yes, I did. He didn't make that up. So after the rapper let everyone eat this story up, she came back online to bash people for believing that she ever went to prison for stealing some god cereal from a god Kmart. So Glorilla posted a series of tweets for those who believed the sob story. Big Glow claimed she was setting the record straight and didn't forget to add that society had become gullible over the years. She added, you really sat y'all up there and believed I went to jail for three years for stealing cereal. And that's why you hearts be in y'all today because y'all believe whatever a tell you. Big Glow definitely didn't stop there as she went ahead to post a few more tweets saying, and that's the reason you be taking care of kids that's not y'all's till they 12 because you believe whatever a tell you. This wasn't the end as the Tomorrow 2 rapper took to her Twitter to let her haters know that she didn't give a about them. I never gave a single about a hoe not liking me and a mf bet not let me find out they don't like me cause now I'm finna work your nerves and do everything in my power to make you hate me. She didn't care about being liked. So letting the entire public run with the impression that she had just served time in jail was a piece of cake for her. Imagine misleading the public only for you to play the blame game on them for believing what you told them. Wow, so when rappers saw this happen, they knew straight not to ever mess with her because she will mess you up without doing too much. Let's not forget the lawsuit Glorilla got slapped with by the New Orleans hip hop veteran Ivory Paynes for an uncleared sample for her viral hit, Tomorrow. The Doghouse Posse member had accused the Memphis rapper of allegedly swiping a sample from the track Street of the West Bank. The veteran hip hop star told a news outlet that Big Glow and her producer, Macaroni Tony, mimicked and copied the arrangement of Street of the West Bank from the instrumentation accompanying the rap lyrics, down to the instruments, drop out and re-enter. It was just too noticeable, and this was without permission from the source. Glorilla's Public Feud Another reason why rappers are scared of Glorilla is because they've seen her beef with other rappers, and it never ends well for them. Glorilla doesn't give two about anybody, and the girl will mess you up if you ever try her. One rapper who has gone through this is comedian Lil Duval when he came for Big Glow's name. He said a joke about how nobody in their early 20s should still bear names like Gloria. Oops, this happened to be the rapper's government name, so she wasn't going to just take this insult. Lil Duval said, Nobody born after 2000 should be named Brenda, Linda, or Gloria. This was a direct shade at the Memphis-born rapper, and she was damn ready to clap back at him. Glorilla wasn't going to let it pass, so she took to her Twitter page to reply to the comedian, telling him that no one at his age should still have the name Lil in their name. Nobody over the age of 45 should still have Lil in their name. 
together with this tweet were three laughing emojis that conveyed that the rapper was aiming to ridicule Lil Duval. The comedian was hurt by this comment, but took it as a champ, as he replied to the Memphis-born rapper that he is still height-challenged, and that's why he still has Lil in front of his name, despite his age. This interaction between Big Glow and Lil Duval definitely sent a message to anyone trying to come for her in the future. It was like a clear message, that if you come for me, I mess you up. Glorilla claps back at a fan and a promoter. So it seems like some people haven't heard about Glorilla and have tried to mess with the Memphis-born rapper, but trust her to let them know how it's done. This happened when a fan accused rapper Glorilla of being scared of Oakland after fans threw water on her in the city. These fans claimed that they were angry because the rapper who was supposed to perform at a nightclub in Oakland ended up not performing. Clips started to fly, and reporters started what they knew how to do best, carry the news around. They mentioned that the hostility towards her was because she refused to perform after being paid $30,000 for a live performance, not a hosting gig or a walkthrough. The clip captured fans throwing Glorilla water while she was being escorted by security. The rumors were pissing Glorilla up, and she wasted no time as she went on Twitter to shut them up. Speaking on the fact that fans spat on her, she tweeted, Ain't no ho spit on Ask that how her face feel though. The female rapper also had one or two to shut the promoter up. She tweeted, No way you think I'm performing when you paid for a hosting crazy tale self. The fact that Glorilla said she couldn't perform for $30,000 wasn't a joke, as her boss, Yo Gotti, also came to social media to defend his artist, letting the promoter know $30,000 was a ridiculous amount for a performance. He said in a comment on Instagram, 30 k to perform, you must book Lil Glow, not Big Glow, hashtag CMG. The rapper included a crying emoji just to show how ridiculous the promoter's claim was. You thought she was done? Of course not, as she immediately took to her Twitter to express how annoyed she was for not being able to beat these up. And this was because she could get sued, which she was trying to avoid. But she let them know that if they continued to up, they could still get slapped, regardless of any lawsuit she might end up facing. I'm so mad that I can get sued for slapping you but you still can get slapped. To be honest, she didn't really care. The lawsuits would come, but before then, she'd have taught one or two some lessons. Do you all actually think rapper Glorilla is as dangerous as she seems? And should the rappers in the industry really be scared of her? Join the conversation and let us know in the comments section below. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks.